Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. For those of you who do not know, my name is Peyton. This is my little corner of the internet, Peyton Elizabeth. And I am currently on my third week. Really, is it only third? Yeah, my third week of dental school. Um, I go to the University of Nebraska Medical Center and I have absolutely loved it so far. But I know how stressful it is to get into dental school. So I figured since it's interview season and hopefully a lot of you have been getting your invites to interviews, I would share my top five tips to rock your interview. Also, I'm sorry, my cat loves to uh, come stand on my tripod, so if you see it wiggling, that is what it is. It is Gomer Jr. being a goober. But basically, I am going to share my top five tips to really kind of set yourself apart in the interview process because they're going to be seeing a lot of faces in the course of the next few months. And the best way to succeed in getting an acceptance is to really impress them with your interview. I will say some schools are different. I know that some people have said that there are certain schools where the interview is kind of just a formality and it doesn't really matter. But yeah, so I will say for UNMC, the interview is a huge part of... <laughs> Oh Lord, Gomer, look at this. I don't know if you'll be able to see, but that's what we're working with right now. Tip number one, and I think one of the most important is to practice, practice, practice as much as you can. Um, use any and all resources that you have. I'm serious, like I did practice interviews with the Career Center. I had my friends do practice questions. I had my family. I mean, truly just look up questions like there's so, so many resources online that show like potential questions. And then not to mention, if you have a school that you want to go to that is in your area, a lot of the career centers have practice questions from the school. Like my career center, they had questions from previous years of interviews at UNMC so I got to practice with questions that they actually care about and they actually really consider um so yeah I think the more practice you can get not only does it help you to perfect your answers but it also will make you feel more comfortable on interview day okay so tip number two is going to be to know your weaknesses which sounds really really morbid and sad and I know it's not fun to talk about your weaknesses but I can honestly say the most important thing I learned about the interview process um, is to make sure that if there are any weak points, whether that's, you know, a bad grade, you had to withdraw from a class, you don't have a ton of shadowing experience, just any of those things that they would typically want to see that maybe is lacking or not there in your application, if you can explain to them why it happened kind of the situation and how you will make sure that it does not affect you in dental school, that shows so much more about you and your character than if you have a quote unquote perfect application. Like for example, um, I had a class that I ended up having to withdraw from. It was not a good class for me, it was not a good fit, I was really overwhelmed and I knew that I was being overworked and so I had to, um, something had to give and this class ended up being it. And they asked me about it at my interview. They asked why I withdrew from a class and I explained my, that I was overwhelmed and overworked. But if I were to say that and just stop at that, honestly, the interviewers could very easily take that as like, I don't know how to time manage, I don't know how to prioritize. But I talked about how that happened in my sophomore year of college and how from then on out I made sure to focus my schedule around the classes I needed to be taking and how I worked on building my time management skills to... <laughs> Sorry, there's a person outside my window walking their dog and they definitely saw me filming, but that's fine. <laughs> but it shows a lot more about you and about your dedication to success in dental school or medical school or whatever if you are able to show how you are growing and learning with your mistakes. 
Number three, this was a tip that my career center gave me and I loved it. I did it with every school I interviewed at. So, research your school. I'm talking like, look at their curriculum, look at their morals, look at everything that you can on their website and then find two questions. They can be as simple as like, one of the questions I asked were, what resources do you provide to students to ensure their mental health and well-being? And that just proves that, like, I wish I could, I'm trying to like put this into words. It proves how serious you are about their school because you want to know what it will be like for you to be there. You're trying to actively envision yourself at their school and that's why you're asking questions. And that just shows that you are committed to success and you're committed to thriving in their school. And I think it just shows how serious you are about their program and therefore in return, they will take you seriously as a candidate. But yeah, so that is one of my like fun little tricks that I just think really helps because I there's nothing wrong with not having questions, but I personally think that if at the end of an interview, they're like, do you have any questions I can answer? Um, do you have any questions about the program? It really helps to be able to keep the conversation going if you can be like, oh, actually, yeah, when I was researching the school and I was on the website, I noticed that you have um, a fever week. What is that about? And they can say, oh, well, that's something that ASDA puts on to welcome new students. And so it has a lot of fun get to know you activities so you can um, interact with upperclassmen and interact within your class. Well, so then me as an interviewer, interviewee, it shows that they really are thinking about incoming students. And then as the interviewer, it shows them that you were envisioning yourself on campus in the fall. Number four is working on annotation and not trailing off at the end of sentences. This is something I struggled with and a lot of people struggle with. You start talking, answering a question, and then you realize you don't really know where you're going or how you're gonna end the answer and you kind of just trail off at the end. It just doesn't exude confidence. You want to have good, clear answers. You don't want to be answering a question and be talking and talking and talking in circles and then realize you don't really have anywhere that you're going and just kind of trail off at the end and be like, yeah. Like you, you want your interviewers to know this is your answer, this is when it ends, they can move on to the next question or ask follow-ups. So that is the biggest thing, just work on how you say what you're saying um, because that's almost as important as what you're saying. The final tip, which is kind of one of my like classic tips, I know, but just be yourself. The most important thing in this process is that you find a school that is well suited for you. I know that it kind of can be to a point where you just want to fit into whatever school will take you and you want to just be the student that they want to see, but it is so, so important that you find a school that fits you well and is going to allow you to succeed because honestly I'm on week three of dental school. I have four quizzes this week, I have three exams next week and it's not even a month in and I'm so overwhelmed, I'm so stressed but I am in a school that is so well suited for me that it's worth it. And if you're at a school that you don't like, if you're in a city that you don't like, if you are forcing yourself to fit into a bubble because of what other people think or what you envisioned as a perfect school. I'm gonna be honest, UNMC, it's not a school a lot of people know about. Um, I mean, people know about it in the Midwest, but it's not like NYU or it's not Harvard Dental School or something like that. But it is so perfect for me and it's so perfect because it fits all of my values. It's a small class size. The instructors are so passionate about teaching you. And that's something that I valued so, so much going into this process. And it's what helped me decide on the school that I was choosing. So I just think the most important thing is to be yourself so they're seeing the authentic you and to be very, very honest with yourself about what your values are. It's about being really honest with yourself so that you can set yourself up for success next year. Okay guys, that is everything. That is my pieces of advice, my tips and tricks on how to succeed in dental school interviews. I know they're scary, but I believe in you guys, you can do this. If I got here, you can get here. So yeah, if you guys have any, any questions at all about the dental school application process, about dental school, I am so happy to answer them. Seriously, like 
I know how scary it is. I didn't have anyone to ask and so I am so passionate about helping those who don't know what's going on. So you can comment down below. You can DM me on my Instagram. It's at Peyton underscore Elizabeth underscore two underscore DDS. So yeah, um, all of it will be linked down below. You can message me anytime and I will be happy to explain. I've talked with multiple of my subscribers already about the dental school process, so don't feel like it's a burden. It might take me a minute to get back to you just because of school, but I am happy to get back to you at some point. And yeah, be sure to oh lord, be sure to subscribe, like, comment. You all know the drill. And stay tuned because on Saturday my week two of dental school vlog is come going up. So I'm so excited to take you on this journey with me, especially as things are starting to pick up. So. Love you guys. Bye.